Hey guys, welcome back to Bike Bike. I'm Bud, and today we're doing a little bit of a fitness toughness challenge. Try to keep sharp while we're not really supposed to be riding our bikes the way that we normally do. So what I've decided to do is I got this big mountain here near my house called Mount Diablo. Everybody out in here really loves it. People ride it all the time. I usually ride this mountain style, getting up the fire roads in the single track, and then riding back down, whatever is the most fun. But uh, to make it a little bit harder and a little bit more interesting today, I decided to try to crest this mountain using the road route on my single speed, which you can see right there. That's my Kona Hanzo. I'm gonna be running a 3416. I've definitely never done a big ride like this on a single speed. I usually have a pretty hard time getting up my normal trails, hence the road route, because roads are gonna be a little flatter than the fire roads, which are really steep. I'm not gonna have any grip issues and they've got the parks closed to cars, so I don't have to worry about cars today. So we're gonna see if Bud is tough. Hey, here's our first check-in since I started riding. Uh, I just got around 2,000 feet. I missed the 1,000 foot mark, which was gonna be my first break. Uh, and I'm delighted to see that it's a 2,000 foot marker. I thought that I just hadn't gotten to 1,000 feet yet. And I was feeling like if that was the case, it was gonna be a pretty hard ride to get to the top of this thing. So feeling okay right now seems like I can use this gear to pedal up the road and I don't expect it to get too much steeper though it does increase a little towards the top uh, should be doing all right it's a little cold it's raining a little bit but uh, I got the gear I need so I think I'm gonna be okay in that way um, I'll be checking in again in a few minutes see you later all right here's another check-in shit got kind of nasty up here it's definitely very foggy or maybe that's rain I don't know uh, it's a little bit steeper. I'm feeling that. Mostly it's colder. My toes are frozen, so now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't stop so much because I think I'll probably not be able to start up again. So, ah, stay tuned. I'll let you know when I get closer to the top. All right, two things I find important. Number one, a little ways back there, was my secondary goal, which we'll talk about when I get to my primary goal. Two things that you need to do stuff like this. One, a buff, because this little beauty is like the best invention ever made. It's giving me warmth all over. I feel less cold than I felt when I had my jacket on. And now my jacket's wet, so it wasn't making it worse. And two, eyebrows. Get yourself a nice, thick, healthy set of eyebrows especially in the rain because what's going to happen is the rain's going to mix with your sweat and it's going to drag it right down into your eyes and then they sting and you have to stop. Yeah, watch out for that. See you at the top. Well, welcome to the top. This is the summit of Mount Diablo, something around 3,800 feet. And uh, I just did it for the first time on a single speed. A little bit about the goal setting process for this. Not that I'm a genius at goal setting, but what I find useful is to set a primary goal, a lofty goal that certainly seems possible, but I haven't done before and is certainly a couple of steps further than where I've been. Then I set a secondary goal. And this one's important to be a point at which is obviously more attainable because anything less than your big goal is more attainable, but not completely easy. And a point at which I'll reflect, think, well, I'm this far, if it's just a little bit more pain, I'm gonna go the distance, try to get that next one. Because anything above what you've done before is always an improvement. It's always gonna take you closer to where you wanna be. So I don't know if that helps anybody. The point of this is to inspire you to stop looking at me and get out there and get on your bike. And then come back at nighttime when you can't ride your bike. And then we'll talk some more. See ya.